Demographics are changing dramatically in Ireland and globally, and they're changing because people are living longer by three months a year or five hours a day, and fertility rates are dropping even in countries that we traditionally did not associate with low fertility rates, India, Africa, etc. The main domains that we're interested in are health, social domains and economics. TILDA is the Irish Longitudinal Study of Ageing. It's a collaboration between Trinity and a number of other institutions in, in Ireland and the purpose of the study is to trace the experiences of people over the age of 50 over time. Over 9,000 people have participated in this study and our, our expectation is to identify early changes, early indicators of decline so that we can intervene early and develop new treatments, new technologies which will prevent any decline. So we've got a lot of detail about how they live their lives, what services they get, what sort of financial support they have, how they relate to family and friends and so on. So it's a very rich understanding, not only of where we are, but how we're changing. In the past, care of older people used to be quite straightforwardly private family matter, whereas now it's increasingly both a family matter and something that the states and public policies are involved in. I'm involved as the medical director of a programme called NEIL, which is Neuro Enhancement for Independent Lives. And really the focus of this program is trying to develop scalable strategies to intervene with people at a much earlier stage to try and prevent and delay the onset of dementia. So the hope is that if you intervene early with people with education and advice about lifestyle factors that you might be able to delay the onset or prevent uh, Alzheimer's disease happening. We as engineers, architects and urban ecologists within Trinity House are using the concept of universal design and people-centred design to critically assess how cities and buildings are being designed and how they can be designed better so that wider range of age groups and disability groups can actually properly access and use a city. We're using design thinking, working with people, identifying what are their needs, how can we actually come up with ideas and then we prototype them, test them, refine them and then they should move into policy changes. There are a number of ways to, to measure impact. For example, a third of people who have a fall in fact lose consciousness during that episode and it's due to some heart problem. So now we've developed criteria that are used internationally to identify people who might be blacking out, presenting just as a fall, so the clinicians are aware that they need to do a different suite of investigations on those particular individuals. There's a great sense of positive buzz from that sort of discovery because it has immediate impact on someone's quality of life, on their health and indeed on their mortality. One of the richest experiences of working with the ageing researchers in Trinity is the true multidisciplinary nature of those involved. It's a very good environment in which people bounce ideas off each other. We do strive to be of relevance for international debates, uh, for theories that have broader applicability. And we have succeeded in combining that focus on Irish society, understanding the problems of Irish society and developing solutions for those with uh, deriving theories, concepts and findings that find acceptance in international publications. The big challenge is how can we keep people very healthy right to the very end. Mm -hmm.